Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I am doing the eyeshadow palette tag and I thought it would just be something fun to do since you guys know that I love my eyeshadow. So we are going to jump right in. I have the questions in front of me and I have a whole bunch of palettes in front of me. So the first question is to show your newest palette. The newest palette that I have, I've already shown you guys, it is the Natasha Denona Safari palette. And so far, so good. So this is my newest baby and I'm very happy, happy to be adding more Natasha Denona palettes to my collection. Show your oldest palette is the next one. I think the oldest palette that I have is the Urban Decay Naked palette. I mean, it's got to be the oldest one that I have, I think. It's they don't even make these anymore. I didn't realize that until I was looking up something and I didn't realize that they weren't making the naked, which is probably, it's probably news to nobody except for me, but I can't seem to let go of this one. It's just, it's pretty nostalgic to me and I still very much love like the neutrals and the shadows in here. So I'm not getting rid of this anytime soon. All right, the next question is show your most expensive palette. You guys have already seen this as well. It is the um, Pat McGrath Mothership 6 palette. And I, I truly, truly, truly do need to leave this out so I can play with this some more. But there it is right there. I got it because of, I chose this one because of the purple that's in there. It just looked like a really very, very pretty purple. And so, I thought the other colors were very wearable and yet you had that pop of purple in there. So I'm going to play with this some more because I know in my last video, if you watched my haul video, I was talking about how I want the two rosier toned palettes from Pat McGrath, but these palettes are very expensive and I just have to make sure that I love the quality enough to pay that amount of money for another one of her palettes. There are some smaller palettes that I want from her but that's definitely the most expensive, $125. And uh, I was just, it's crazy. It's crazy is what it is. All right, um, show your most affordable palette. My most affordable palette is not one that I purchased myself. It was gifted to me, but it nevertheless, it is still the most affordable. And it is the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow in Berry Bad. My friend Stacy gifted me this and I played with some of the shades within the last couple of weeks and I really do like it. So it seems like it's a it's a good little palette for $3 and it's super cute and tiny and very travel friendly, so I like that. Show your everyday palette. Oh, I don't think I pulled that, hold on, let me see. My everyday palette? I don't think I have an everyday palette because, well, I guess I can combine this one with your most used palette, which is the last question on here but when I think an everyday palette I just think of something that you can grab without thinking too much about how to use the colors in there and what you're gonna use and so for me that is the Too Faced chocolate bar palette I love this palette so much so it's definitely my most used and it would be like my go-to everyday palette I have used this so much and I feel like this is a palette that if I ever happen to run out of a few of my favorite shades, I would totally repurchase this palette. That's how much I love it. I think that no matter your level of makeup knowledge or experience, this is a really fun palette to have because you can use everyday colors. You can do a, you know, you have a little bit of pink and purple in there, just a little bit, but it's not crazy. They're not crazy colors. And you can also create a smoky eye out of this. There is the chocolate bar palette. You have some beautiful, beautiful gold. And again, that little pink and purple. This shade right here is just so pretty in the inner corner, brow bone. Love this all over the lid. And again, as my highlight shade. So I'll usually go in with this as an all over highlight shade. And then I'll put this shade right here just on the arch, underneath the arch of the brow. But some really great colors. This one's my favorite crease and transition shade aside from a makeup geek one. So there's that. Um, what is the next question? <sighs> Cookie, sit down. 
show your most colorful palette. I have already told you guys that I actually didn't have a whole lot of colorful palettes. So this is now my most colorful palette and I've already shown this in the haul so I'm not going to talk too much about it. But it's got some beautiful neons and bright oranges and greens and purples. Just a bunch of fun shades in here. All right, the next one is show your smallest palette. Okay, so I don't really have like, I, I'm not sure what they're talking about, your smallest palette. To me, this goes in my little palette drawer. So I'm gonna consider this one my smallest palette and this is the, the Natasha Denona Mini Lila, Mini Lila palette. I saw a promo for this or um, a model wearing this and I couldn't help but jump all over this. This blue in here is just gorgeous, but look at this blue right here. It's like a blue purple shift. It is so pretty and even this little highlight, that champagne shade right there, it's so pretty. So this has to be the smallest little eyeshadow palette that I have. Show your biggest palette. Also the Norvina, I mean my gosh, it's enormous. So that's my biggest palette. And then the palette with the best memory, and that has to be the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. I actually had, I had the first one and I gave it away, which uh, I, like I don't regret it because I know that she uses it, but it's so nostalgic for me, but it's around the time when these Vice palettes came out that I was in such a state of like truly loving makeup and how it transforms you and how it makes you feel. And it was, I mean, Urban Decay was the first, my first love, like when it comes to eyeshadow. And I think makeup in general, it was Urban Decay for me, but definitely eyeshadow. I remember never having explored with non-neutral eyeshadows. And I went to an Ulta where there was an Urban Decay makeup artist went ahead and did a makeover on me and she used purple eyeshadows and I just remember like feeling so blown away but by, by all these like different dimensions and shades of purple that were going on in, on my eyelids and it really made my brown eyes pop and that's when I fell in love with purple eyeshadow. And that's when I fell in love with Urban Decay eyeshadows. So from there, like every single collection that came out, I feel like I was just buying them and I wanted all of all of their collections. So Urban Decay Vice 2 just kind of takes me back to that time period where I was just loving makeup and having so much fun. I used to wear a lot of green eyeshadow, like green and purples were my colors back then. So anyway, that's my palette with the best memory. And then show a palette worth the hype. I have to go with the Charlotte Tilbury Exaggerize. I feel like I talk about this in every other video. I talk about how much I love it and I really, really do. I just, there's something so simple about this palette and yet there's also something about it that makes me feel so sexy and model-esque and I don't know what else to call it but it's so simple you just see these shades and they look like absolutely nothing but they're so beautiful on the eyelid and so for me that is the palette that's worth the hype for me the next one is a palette not worth the hype that was so easy for me to go and pull this out of my declutter stack it is the Kylie Jenner I don't even know what this is called hold on know which palette this is is this like a valentine i think it came out like in valentine during valentine's day something i don't know anyway it's this one right here and i love the packaging of this and i love the shade selection i do not like the formulation of these eyeshadows they are so crappy for a lack of better words so these are the shades right here and i you know at that at this time when i purchased this one I didn't have like a whole lot of pinks at all in my collection. And I liked, again, that you had some neutrals. You have that really pretty, I want this shadow to work so bad. Um, this one is Romance. It's like a pinky purple 
shade and it looks good there. It's just the formulation on the eyelids is just not great. I don't feel like my palette blends out really well. The shimmers are not very good. It makes my eyelids look crepey and old, but I absolutely love the shade selection. I just, I do not like this palette. I have tried so many times to make it work and I just don't like it. So that's a palette not worth the hype. I don't know if it's, you know, like hyped up now, but I'm pretty sure that the whole collection at that time was hyped up. So that's why I chose that one. Oh, show your, your favorite palette from a favorite brand. So this is going to be the last one. And so if somebody were to ask me like, you know, I'm in the market for eyeshadows, what, and I want a palette, what brand should I look at? I would say Charlotte Tilbury, Anastasia, and I would have to say Urban Decay. Again, Urban Decay is pretty near and dear to my heart. Oh, you guys have no idea all the yelling that's been going on in this room. I have edited, edited it all out, but you have no idea the yelling that's been going on in here at my animals, at my cat. Urban Decay, near and dear to my heart. I don't have a whole lot of Urban Decay palettes left in my stash, but from what I do have, I think my favorite one has to be the Naked Heat. I love this palette in the summer. For some reason, I, I really, really reach for it in the summer, but I mean, look at these. They're like these orangey, rusty, beautiful tones, which I don't know. Some might argue that these are fall shades. I don't know. I don't really care. I just love it so much. I love this palette. It's so beautiful. I don't have another palette that has like this exact, you know, shade range here and those shum those shimmers, the shumber shumbers. I was looking at a shade called Lumber um, because I was going to talk about that one. But those shimmer shades, I mean, Lumber, Scorched, God, Dirty Talk is gorgeous, He Devil. These are all so, so pretty. If you don't have this palette and you've been sitting on it, I would ask you why you're sitting on it because it's gorgeous. It's just, it's so beautiful. So there you go. That is the eyeshadow palette tag. I hope that this was fun for you to watch, even though you've seen me talk about a ton of eyeshadows. But um, yeah, I'm going to tag anybody else who wants to do this and I hope that you're doing well. I hope you're having a good day or night and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.